Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's whatever blog number it is, it might be number 4 but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my fourth vlog will say on the Tyran 4 tank. Uh, let's lift the turret off because nothing's uh, nothing's happened here yet. So that's our turret. Uh, all the work at the moment is on the tank itself, on the on the on the hull. See, I've done some chipping. You get any closer with that? So we've got some dark rust chips there. We've got some green uh, Soviet paint underneath, which will be underneath the Egyptian paint or the Syrian paint. But I've just gone for Soviet. I thought let's not confuse the issue anymore. As I say, I've gone for the dark, the dark stone, uh, the dark rust chips, and that I believe I've had to look myself here is a combination of the Soviet green and some dark chips. I've put again. I've, as I said to you before, I've applied the the um, uh, dark sand. So I gave it a, a wash over with some water with some dishwasher detergent in and I, I'd use some watered down dark sand and I just move it in into the areas and then wipe away what I don't want. Uh, it's just as, to be honest with you, I found it just as convenient as oil paints without the, the you know, the length of time you've got to wait or the, or I wouldn't say mess, but you know, you know just just bodging around with with oil paints can sometimes be uh, so that's worked for me uh, then I've stippled on uh, dark wood from Vallejo which is I've still got it here somewhere old wood I should say old wood and that's that light brown color uh, there will be a few bits and pieces there'll be some streaking going on and things going on there the mud underneath is I was going to put some some baked on mud on there anyway. Uh, you know, I didn't want to completely desert feel uh, that a lot of the Israeli tanks that I'd seen in in Lebanon. Uh, they got a lot of mud on them, and uh, some of it was like you could see it was baked on. It got stuck up there and left up there for till they uh, ever clean it. And uh, so yeah, I'd seen it got like an orangey, orangey. You know, uh, I suppose yeah, an orangey type look to it. I've tried to replicate that drying out. Uh, it also covers um, some bits and pieces that I couldn't clean off. Because like a fool, I'd left I'd left sink marks and that underneath, thinking, oh, you know, I'm so used to building the two two tanks I've built so far. I've got side skirts, and you obviously never see it. And then it suddenly dawned on me, <laughs> T55s don't have side skirts, and you might see it. So that was another excuse to wop some mud underneath. Um, so that's that. Um, let's have a quick on the other side. It's all the same. So I will be putting, as I say, some streaks down and things like that as well. Uh, let's just get back. I've only worked on the. See, I'm I'm always stuck for blooming room here. Hang on a second, guys. Let's see if we can turn the camera this side on so we get a bit more room. That's a bit better. Right, this isn't rust. It's uh, it is different dirt deposits in my T55 book by AK. Uh, one of the guys was showing how he built up um, different dirt deposits. Uh, I've used some wall filler pre-made wall filler mixed up with some paint for the very dark. Uh, I put all the lighter colours down first and then put the darker, wetter mud on. Although this has got to have another couple of more granular. Uh, there is some, it is granular. You just can't really see it very well under the under the lights. But it, it is it is a rough texture. Um, but I intend to put another texture on top with another lighter colour and just have the dark uh, the darker one going around the edges. I've got it all the crew have, have welded on another couple of track links here and uh, I've put the mud mud and stuff on there as well uh, as well as obviously some chipping and things the uh, towing eyes here or whatever you would call them hooks 
the Israelis would not normally paint theirs red or I've seen them a lot painted red uh, so I decided to have them red under you know the Israelis have, have, have in their service had marked this off red and obviously got handed over to the SLA painted blue and uh, it's showing through in places uh, the board was a bit hard to work on. I wish I'd put the board and worked on it separately now, to be honest with you. But again, we've got some, some dollops here and there. And again, they'll be built up over... Uh, I'm working on, believe it or not, tracks again tonight. Uh, so um, that uh, that will get worked on over the next few days. Uh, gone into the corners with it, where there'll be a build-up of, of mud and stuff. You know, obviously it's a fairly neglected tank. And again, it's quite granular. You can't really see it very well, but it is granular. It has that, that's, you know, I didn't want to do something too out of scale. Um, although saying that, I've seen a lot of Israeli vehicles that I've got in my IDF book on the training grounds and that, and they've got photographs of them from looking down at the, you know, from the, the turret and uh, the amount of big stones in that that sometimes get thrown up and get left in the corners until the next time the tank's clean. There's, there's a fair amount of that, but... Uh, I didn't want to go too too silly on that, so there's going to be some more another, as I say, another layer on there, and it again just lightened up slightly. Uh, sandbags. Uh, I'm not really happy with those, but I think they're about the best as I'm going to get them. Uh, I've put a couple of tufts because these sandbags have been filled with the just local dirt wherever they they put a shovel into the ground, and we've got a couple of half dead. Uh, grass growing out, out of the, the, the dirt that's been leaking out and again this isn't rust it's it's actually when you do look at it you think yeah yeah well nice rust that <laughs> it's not it's supposed to be dirt so uh, uh, I've got a bit more to go yet again that's quite granular I'm quite pleased how that's built up again we've got some Soviet green showing through I've got some other bits to add to the without making it overly you know I didn't want the complete I understood I could see the front of the tank being really you know heavily dirt thrown up and obviously the back and whatever but uh, the the actual top deck here I didn't want it to be too too dirty uh, I was trying out the fuel tanks last night I knew I wasn't going to get much farther but I just wanted to do this section just to see how I was going uh, so what I've done here Again, you can't really see it in the light. Is um, use the dark rust again, but you, using it as diesel. It's you know your eye will tell you that's a fuel cap, uh, so it'll tell you it's diesel. Uh, I've put some, but in that in that brown rust colour, I'd I'd mix some Vallejo water, still water, uh, just a tiny bit to give it a shininess, and I put some then some. Uh, orangey browns on top to to represent some crud that's stuck to the to the diesel as it does in these type of environments, and then I then put some still water again in places on it just to give it that shiny effect of a wetter diesel look, and down here as well. I'm not too happy yet with these these mud, these mud bits and pieces might have to be um, lightened. I'm not sure yet. Uh, oh, by the way, I put obviously, as you can see, I put a couple of civilian fertilizer bags. We'll call that the uh, the Red Circle Fertilizer Company. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to show, you know, again, a bit of difference, really. So yeah, a couple of I should have said a couple of civilian fertilizer bags. Uh, again, bit of chipping, a uh, bit of dust on here as well. Uh, these holes aren't too much of a worry because. Uh, I'd always plan to fill them with some stowage anyway, so there'll be something put in there when, when when we get to the final reveal, I suppose, of the tank. As you can see, I put some chips on here, but that's as far as I got last night. Uh, and I'll I'll do the I'll do each fuel tank slightly, a bit slightly differently. Like this hasn't got a lot of too too much diesel on. I was thinking of putting one of these where the diesels run into the into the grooves here a bit. Um, so yeah, again, chips to the to the end there, but uh, but nothing else yet. So that's our that's our tank deck. Um, really enjoyed uh, working on this so far. The tracks I've built two lengths up to about I think it's about eighty two links a piece. 
I think it says about 91, and I gingerly tried to put the wheels on the one side, gingerly tried to put them around, uh, and I was miles. I'm just, <laughs> you know, when you got that thinking, I don't think these track links are going to be enough, because <laughs> obviously it's, it's, it is designed for a, a mini art kit, but you'd think that in 1 in 35 scale they'd be roughly the same. So I'm just fingers crossed I, have a, I actually have enough links to do the job. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the... the that's how far I've got on my Tyron 4 uh, uh, build. It's, as I say, really, really enjoyed uh, working on it. It's, it's, it's been great. Um, it's because I'm doing the hand chipping method and I'm hand stippling on everything. It's that is going to take a long time rather than just putting the airbrush over and putting a, a mist over it, you know, for to getting a, a coat down. But I'm happy with that. As I say, I'm, I just enjoy tinkering around with it you know, an hour or so at the end of the night. Although I must admit, I did have about three hours on this one uh, yesterday. Uh, that's as far as I got. <laughs> but yeah, the, the sandbags mm, could could might still be putting some shadows in in some of the areas of those. Yeah, I'm not 100, percent but I have gone over with the the dust uh, uh, stippling, and that's obviously brought a lot of the shadows I'd originally got in down. So it, it, it might look all right when it. Well, we'll see. We'll see when the end end result is. Uh, I I. I was probably a bit too forward thinking putting the grass in at the moment. I might should have probably left that off to the end, but uh, I just wanted to see how it would look bit by bit. As I say, there's no streaking or anything being put in there yet at the moment. Uh, it is just at the moment putting uh, you know the the different uh, the different colours down. So guys, I hope everything's going well with you. Thanks for let me show you this uh, small bit of progress on the Tyrant Four. As I say, it is slow. You know, there's nothing quick doing this, uh, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's whole idea is enjoying yourself as you're doing it, and uh, and I am. So, you take care of yourselves, guys, and we'll catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.